hello students uh, welcome to our today lecture in our today lecture we are going to apply the war model basically war model is used when there is no difference between dependent and independent variable in your model your all variables are independent so war mean vector auto regressive model auto mean there is or there will be the lags of your dependent variable in your model as an independent variable so that is called auto regressive auto regressive mean that your dependent variable lag is present as independent variable in your model so now let's start that how can we apply war model first of all we have to select the data as i have three variable import saving and gdp and my data set starts from 1976 to 2020 so i will select all my data from here and i will open the e views and then i will open here new work file then i will paste the start and end date of the data my start uh, my data start date is 1976 and the end date of data is 2020 so and my data is annual based so i am going with the default option if you have data in different forms like semi annual quarterly or monthly you can choose the option according to the base of your data so as my data is on annual basis so i am going with this option annual and uh, in this option you have to select that whether your data is unstructured dated or balanced panel my data is time series not panel so i am going with the dated regular dated mean that my data has start and end date as well undated mean that your data have no start and end date so i am going with this option that my data has start and end date so after uh, applying all these option i will click on okay then i will go to quick empty group and i will paste my all data set here as you can see that my all data uh, is now present in the eviews work file after that i will select all my variables like gdp import saving then i will click right button of the mouse and open as group then i will go to quick here at the end you can see the option of estimate var then i will click on estimate var here it is asking me that insert your endogenous and exogenous variable endogenous mean that a uh, dependent variable so we are assuming that all our variables are endogenous as in var model there is no difference between dependent and independent variable so we are assuming that all our variables are independent so i will type all my variables here gdp import and save and here you can see that it is asking standard var vector error correction or bayesian in this lecture we are only interested in standard var in our coming lectures we will discuss about vector error correction and bayesian var as well but at the current moment we are only interested with the uh, standard var as you can see that we have three variables gdp import and saving so we have three equation in our model in first equation gdp is dependent variable 
and import and saving are independent variable then in next equation import will become dependent variable gdp and saving will become independent variable and in last equation saving will become dependent variable and gdp and import will become independent variable so we have three equations in our model next it is asking about the lags that how much lags you are willing to include in your model you can change the order of lag by your own choice but i am going with the default option 1 and 2 so when i click on this the result window will appear as you can see that i have told you earlier that we have three equation in our model so as you can see that this is the first equation of the model this is the second equation of the model and this is the third equation of the model and as we have selected two lags so as you can see that this is the lag of gdp first year and this is the lag of gdp one more previous year similarly for import and saving it has included two lags and c is constant so we have total seven variables or seven coefficients gdp lag 1 lag 2 import lag 1 lag 2 saving lag 1 lag 2 and constant c so we have three models or three equations and seven coefficient so in sum we have total 21 coefficients seven of each model seven for seven coefficient of this model seven coefficient for this model and seven coefficient for this model this first value is the coefficient value of the gdp lag it is explaining that how much gdp is correlated with the one year previous lag and this is the coefficient that how much gdp is related with the gdp two year previous lag and this coefficient is explaining that how much gdp is explained by one year import lag value similarly uh, this value explain that how much gdp value is explained by the one year lag value of the saving uh, and these are the values of standard error as you can see that here this bracket shows the standard error and this bracket shows the values for t statistic so these are the value of standard error and these are the values of t statistic so how can we get the t statistic value <coughs> by dividing coefficient with the standard error by dividing this value by this we will get the value for t statistic as you see that all our results are here but we had to tell that whether the result are significant or not we have to see the p value but in this result window we have no p value so we have to find out the p values so it will be easier for us to explain that whether there is a significant relationship between these variables or not so what we have to do we will go to the proc here you can see that proc then go to make system then select order by variable for seeing the p values when you click this it will show you the three equations of your model as i told you earlier that if we have three variables we have three equation in our models if we have four variables in our model then we have four equations and if we have five variables in our model then there will be five equations in our model and each uh model or equation contains seven coefficient so there are 21 overall coefficient present in our 
murder. So after this, I will go to estimate. Then I will simply click on OK. And now it gives me the probability value or the p values. So now it will be easier for us to explain that whether these results are significant or not. As you can see that C1 coefficient p value is greater than 0 0.05 which means that it is not significant. Okay, for significance the p value must be less than 0 0.05. So as you can see that our p value is nearly 1. So it means that this particular variable have no effect on our dependent variable. Uh, similarly, you can see uh, that C4 is also significant. But when you look at the coefficient C5 p value, its p value is less than 0 0.05. So this coefficient is showing a significant effect in the model and so on you can check all other variables significance by looking at their probability value. Uh, see 0.05 is the benchmark but in some cases if our value is less than 0.1 then we also say that that particular variable have significant relationship but there is a weak significant relationship. So uh, you can uh, if your variables are significant and uh, 0 0.1 percent then you all can also interpret these result but uh, the values above than 0 0.1 it means that uh, no your variables are not significant so as you can see that equation gdp gdp equation have seven coefficient from c1 to c7 so C1 to C7 are the coefficient of this first equation from this point to this point and our 7 equation is of import so the coefficient from C8 to C14 is the coefficient for uh, a second equation and this C14 is the constant of this particular equation. Similarly C7 is the constant of the this particular equation and the last equation is saving and its coefficient start from 15 to 21 and 21 is the constant. So you can see that uh, import let's say Im one year import lag have any effect on the saving and its coefficient value is C17 so I will look at C17 and its probability value is greater than 0 0.05 which means that this value have no impact on the dependent variable in this particular equation. So this is the uh, war model and the interpretation of the war model. You can also check the joint coefficient, joint significance of the model or joint significance of the variable. So what is the uh, guideline? As you can see that of our significance we will see the world coefficient test. So if we want to see that C1 and C2 or C3 or C4 you can choose all the numbers by or, or the coefficient by your own choice. But I am going with C1 and C2 and I want to check that whether C1 and C2 jointly affecting the GDP. So for this uh, I will select that C1 and C2. So what I have to do I will go to view then I will go in coefficient diagnostic test and here 
you have to select the wall coefficient test so here it is asking you that for which coefficients you want to check joint significant so i will write c1 equal c2 equal 0 so here it will gives you the uh results for the wall test and the null hypothesis is that c1 and c2 equals to 0 it mean that they are not affecting your dependent variable jointly so what is the guideline for accepting or rejecting this null hypothesis you have to see the p value of chi square test as you can see that its value is greater than 0.05 so you cannot reject the null hypothesis you have to accept the null hypothesis okay if the p value is greater than 0.05 you have to accept the null hypothesis and if it is less than 0.05 then you have to reject the null hypothesis so as you can see that my probability value is greater than 0.05 so i have to accept the null hypothesis which mean that c1 and c2 equals to 0 so what does mean that c1 equals to c2 equals to 0 it mean that they both are zero and they are not affecting my dependent variable so if this value is less than 0.05 so in that case i have to reject the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis is that they are jointly affecting the dependent variable so in that case it mean that they are not zero but we have a probability value greater than 0.05 so we have to accept the null hypothesis which mean that these two coefficient are not jointly affecting our dependent variable so this is all for the var model if you have any question you can ask me